hormones related to sleep. Sleep is crucially important for your health and we have a lot of people struggling with insomnia and sleep issues. I just want to tell you from God's design perspective how we're designed to sleep and how hormones play a role in that. So what's the main sleep hormone? You know what it is. It's melatonin. So let me tell you how God designed it to work. God designed the earth and he designed us and we are governed by light. Sun rises and the sun sets. When the sun rises, we're supposed to wake up. And when the sun set, we're supposed to go to sleep. Now that's not happening in our synthetic world today and our laptops and our cell phones and our TVs and our fake lights and all these kind of things. And so we're off of our natural body clock, our circadian rhythm, the way God designed it to work. We're not doing that anymore. We used to live on farms, grow up on farms. That beautiful rooster would crow in the morning at five o'clock and we were up and at them ready to tackle the day. And so again, that's changed. So if you want to sleep well, one of the best things you can do is get on God's clock for sleep. And the way you do that is you sleep from about nine to five. Now, ideally we'd go to bed shortly after the sun goes down. Now we don't live in a perfect world, so we're not gonna do that in the winter at 5.30. But if we can at least get to go to bed by nine and then get up at five in the morning, we're more on God's clock. That hormone that's produced called melatonin, people are going to health food stores and buying melatonin. Quick note on melatonin, it's almost all synthetic. It's petrochemical based. I don't know if people know how many things in health food stores are chemicals. They are petrochemicals. You want to know your source. That's why I'm so adamant about every product that I research. The, the melatonin that I have is food-based. I didn't even know there was a food-based melatonin, but I found out there is one and it's made from rice and it's much, much healthier and better for our bodies. The way it's supposed to work is when night falls, so your body sees dark, your body starts to drip melatonin into your spinal cord that goes into your whole body and makes you sleepy and drowsy. And so when you stay up late and you're artificially stimulating yourself with TV and computers and laptops and cell phones, you're not telling your body that it's time, that it's nighttime, that it's time to produce melatonin, that it's sleepy time. And so that's why we're having to take a lot of these um, drugs. People are taking uh, what Ambien and Lunesta and <clears throat> I don't know, all of these different drugs to help them go to sleep. And again, these are man-made chemicals. We need to get off of the man-made chemicals. We need to get back on God's clock when it comes to our sleep cycle. So what my wife and I started doing that's awesome is when it gets dark, we light candles. No electronics, no lights. We light candles. We have family time. We read books. We tell stories. We laugh. We're not sitting around looking at the TV and doing those kind of things. I think that's huge for a family. And what it does is it sets your body up for rest and relaxation, the melatonin production, everything happens naturally. The best things you can do to help you fall asleep better is to take a plant-based melatonin if you need melatonin um, or magnesium before bed. I love the magnesium oil foot soaks by Health and Wisdom or take Calm, the powdered magnesium before bed. The earthing sheets help us get grounded and help us sleep. We sell a ton of earthing sheets. They help a lot of people. It's like connecting to the earth. I have challenged people with the worst insomnia to get into a tent, put a tent in their backyard, go sleep outside. If you go camping, you sleep outside, guess what? You sleep great. Why? You're connected to your creator. You're connected to God and the way he designed it to work. And so it works so much better when you sleep outside and you're in tune with God's cycle of the sun rising and the sun going down. So those are some tips on sleep. Get off of the drugs for sleep. If you have the worst insomnia, you can actually heal it so simply. I, using melatonin if you have to, a lot of times I don't even go there, but just the minerals before bed helps people calm and relax. The earthing sheet, and if you need just some herbs to help calm and relax you, like nervine herbs like hops, valerian, wild lettuce, passion flower, or an herb like holy basil, uh, a lot of times that's all people need to sleep well. So, Sleep well, it's crucial for your longevity, it's crucial for your healing, and do it God's natural way.